Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn how to convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions. Before we look at improper fractions, let's just have a look at a proper fraction to start with. Four sevenths. This is a proper fraction. How do we know it's a proper fraction? Because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Four is smaller than seven. So this is a proper fraction. Improper fractions look like this. So 6 quarters, 6 over 4, is an improper fraction. This is because the numerator is larger than the denominator. Another name that you may have heard for these type of fractions may be top-heavy fractions or vulgar fractions. But for now, I just want you to think of them uh, with the name improper fractions. This is a mixed number. We call this two and two thirds. Mixed numbers are called mixed numbers because they literally are a mix of two different things. They're a mix of a whole number and a proper fraction. Two and two thirds we'd show like this. So if I wanted to describe the size of two and two thirds uh, using green squares, I'd uh, draw two of them for the whole number and then the two-thirds, uh, you can see in the square on the right that I've coloured in two-thirds of a third square in green. There's actually a special relationship between mixed numbers and improper fractions. What you can find is that certain mixed numbers and improper fractions can be equal to each other. They actually describe the same size number. So, in this case, 1 and 2 fifths is actually exactly the same size as 7 fifths. For every mixed number, there is an improper fraction that is exactly the same size. And the focus of this lesson is to learn how to convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions. So if I said to you, here's a mixed number, I could then ask you the question, what would be the improper fraction which is equivalent to this, or vice versa. Let's look now and see if we can come up with a way of showing that 1 and 2 fifths is equal to 7 fifths, that both these represent the same size number. What I've done here is I've represented the mixed number, the 1 and 2 fifths, using this diagram. I've coloured in one whole blue square, to represent the whole number in the mixed number, the 1, and the 2 fifths I've uh, taken a second square, divided it into 5 equal sections, into fifths, and I've coloured 2 of them in blue. So this represents that, uh, that mixed number. Right, watch what happens to the blue square on the left as I now change the diagram to represent 7 fifths. I've taken that one whole blue square and I've split it into five equal size sections. I've split it into fifths. I haven't changed the amount of blue that's coloured in. We're still talking about the same number of squares that are coloured in. But all I've done is that rather than using the whole number for that square on the left, I've just split that into fifths. There are five fifths in that square on the left and another two fifths in the other square, so in total we've got seven fifths all together. And this should show you very clearly, I think, how one and two fifths is equal to seven fifths. We changed the square on the left uh, to be split into fifths rather than having a whole square, but we didn't actually change how much uh, of the squares were colored in. So hopefully that does show why these are equivalent. Let's have a look and see how we would convert this mixed number, two and a quarter, into an improper fraction. So the first thing that I do is that I'm going to represent this mixed number, two and one quarter, using this diagram as you can see here. I've coloured in two whole squares in yellow, and then an extra one quarter of another square in yellow as you can see. So this diagram represents that mixed number, two and one quarter. Now we're talking about quarters. 
in the mixed number we've got two and one quarter. So you need to get in your mind the fact that we're talking about quarters. So the denominator of the improper fraction, the denominator of our answer, is going to be four. It's going to be so many quarters. So what you do is you split those whole squares up into quarters, as you can see here. And then once you get to this stage, you can literally just count how many quarters you've got. Well, I've got four quarters in each of the whole squares and then an extra one quarter. So in total, there are nine quarters altogether. And so the answer to this, uh, converting two and one quarter into an improper fraction, is nine quarters. Two and one quarter is equal to nine quarters. Rather than converting from a mixed number to an improper fraction, let's see if we can go the other way now. If we have an improper fraction, let's see how we convert that to a mixed number. So here I've got 8 thirds, that's my improper fraction. I'm going to find what mixed number is equivalent to that. The first thing that you need to get into your mind is that we're working in thirds. Our improper fraction is 8 thirds. So we're working in thirds. So when we start uh, drawing groups of thirds, we need to remember to group them in threes, as you can see here. What I've done is I've taken three thirds and I've grouped them together and that gives me one whole square, doesn't it? Three thirds is the same as one. But I don't want three thirds, I want eight thirds in total. So let's put a second group of three in, as you can see here. Now I've got two whole squares, I've got two sets of three thirds. So in total I've got six thirds but I want eight thirds in total. So I need another two thirds to give me what I'm after. Here now I've got eight thirds all together. And you can see that in total I've got two and two thirds squares colored in orange. And I hope you can see that how it was important that as we're talking about thirds, we group them in threes because that allowed us to form the whole number part of our mixed number. It's really clear there that there are two whole squares and then the, imp uh, the proper fraction part of the mixed number was the two thirds, that, that bit that's left over. Let's see if we can do these conversions now without having to actually draw the diagrams. We're going to convert three and seven eighths into an improper fraction. Now, three and seven eighths you get in your mind that we are working in eighths. And the key point is that eight eighths is equal to one. Eight eighths is the same as one whole one. Once you've got that in your mind, hopefully the rest becomes quite straightforward. One is the same as eight eighths. So three must be the same as three lots of eight eighths or 24 eighths altogether. So we've done the whole number part of our mixed number, but then we also need to add on the 7 eighths, the improper fraction bit, uh, to get our total number of eighths that we have altogether. So 24 eighths add the 7 eighths gives us 31 eighths altogether. So the answer to this as an improper fraction is 31 eighths. Now let's convert 12 fifths into its equivalent mixed number. We're talking about fifths. We've got an improper fraction of 12 fifths. So we're going to be working in fifths. And the key point that you need to get your head around is the idea that five-fifths is the same as one. Five-fifths is the same as one whole one. Okay. Remember when we had the diagrams that if we were working in, say, fifths, we need to group these fifths into fives. So what I've done here is I've taken the twelve fifths and I've actually written it out as an addition sum where we group as many of these twelve fifths into fives as we can. So I've got five fifths, add five fifths, 
but we can't get another five fifths in. We we just have two left over, don't we? So I've written this twelve fifths out uh, as an addition sum like this, where I've grouped the fifths into fives as much as I possibly can. Then, using the fact that five fifths is equal to one whole one, I can just draw uh, the numbers under here for each five fifths. I can say that's equal to a whole one and that gives me two whole ones as you can see here so in the mixed number we've got two as the whole number part and then what was left over we needed to add on the two fifths so as a mixed number twelve fifths is two and two fifths that was converting between mixed numbers and improper fractions if you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.